week one of the the almighty ones TAO off season and this is the team builder uh, I'll show you what I what I'm bringing uh, my thought process behind it uh, as well as like how I kind of a bit of my process and in, in the way I think through it so uh, let's get started uh, today we're facing uh, Wait, it's not that. This team right here. This is the team we're facing. Uh, he has Tyrantrum, nine to nine, Alolan Nine Tails, Barbarical, Kling Clang, Altaria, Odno, Victor Bell, Vivian, Sandslash, Alola, and last but not least, Vulpix. So the first thing I thought while looking at his team was he has two weather options. He has Slush Rush, Sand Slash, and Hail with Nine Tails. That's the first weather option he has. The second one is uh, Drought with Vulpix and then Victory Bell. And let me see if I can take you through this real quick. Um, if we look at my draft, yeah, you can see that I'm very weak to um, very uh, my core, my physical core is very weak to grass. Very very weak to grass. Right. And this one is also weak to our electric. Not that significant this week unless he brings like HP electric but I've accounted for that no problem um, uh, he has uh, victory bell right so I'm thinking okay he's bringing Sun but I need to prepare in case both comes because this is the thing uh, where is my thing here week one yes uh, here's my thing right uh, his team is severely weak to rocks very very weak to rocks is my first observation as well as the do weather thing right Vivian takes 50% on switch in Altaria takes like 25 uh, nine tails Alola also takes 25 and Volpix takes 25 so every time he wants to activate his weather he needs to switch in on rocks so I have three three pokes I can use for rocks right uh, but I realized that with coverage in rock ground and ice I cover <laughs> wait rock ground ice fighting I I basically hit his entire team with these four moves I hit with these four typings I hit his entire team Tyrantrum weak to ice weak to ground right weak to fighting as well uh, nine tails uh, weak to steel weak to rock or quite weak to steel actually and weak to rock and uh, so that works out uh, and then we have a uh, barbarical which is weak to uh, grass which I don't really have much of I'm not bringing gore guys uh, because uh, I'm not bringing gore guys because his weather his two forms of weather are super effective against my gore guys ice is super effective on gore guys and fire is super effective on gore guys so there's almost no point in bringing that so even if he doesn't have a particular fire type, his moves, fire moves, gets boosted in the sun against my core guys. So I'm not. Plus, it doesn't really bring anything because I can't use Z Trick or Treat, apparently. So, um, never mind that. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, on Barbarical, he's weak to ground and fighting. Clink Clang is weak to ground and fighting. Uh, Altaria is weak to ice and rock. Odno is weak to fighting. Victor Bell takes a shit ton from ground type moves because it's not because his grass typing doesn't resist them. Uh, he's weak to ice as well. Uh, Vivian is quad weak to rock and weak to ice. Uh, and Sand Slash Alola is quad weak to fighting, weak to ground, and then Volpix is weak to ground. So you see, those four typings hit his entire team. So I don't, as long as I can get those four moves on a Pokemon my shit is doing work so what I'm bringing this week is I'm doing it twice look at this look at this this is perfect right this is perfect we have earthquake does a shit ton to everything rock slide kills Vivian from full HP ice punch on the victor bell switch in or on the tyrantrum switch in hits decently hard so I'm running expert bell it's for these super effective moves drain punch Boy, it does much to send a little sand slash, like, and clang, and I get HP back. So, 
I, I brought I brought Brick Break on this and Drain Punch on this, uh, although they're the same base power. Uh, Drain Punch because I want my health back. Brick Break for the Aurora Veil screens. And uh, Defog I also have somewhere, I think. No, I don't have Defog. I, I took away Defog last second. Okay, so, but we do have Brick Break for screens is the important thing here. Uh, so he can't really put that many screens up. Because uh, I know if he brings the hail form, which is the least likely, then I at least have Brick Break for that. Uh, but I want Drain Punch because that's, aside from Wish Passing with this, uh, Drain is my only recovery. Because I don't run Water Absorb for his Barbarical. You need the speed. So, we're bringing Damp Rock, Hurricane for the Victory Belt, U-Turn for the Momentum, Scald for the Burns, not for the Typing. It, I mean, it's nice. It kills, almost kills Vulpix from, it almost kills Vulpix in rain, right? Um, uh, but but the chance to burn is so huge because if his his the most threatening mons on his team are physical, so if I burn the Tyrantrum, it's over. If I burn the Barbarical, it's over. If I burn the um, uh, Clink Clang, it's pretty much over. If I burn his uh, Sand Slash Alola, it's, it's pretty much over. Because this guy has something to bump up his speed on every single Pokemon. On Tyrantrum, he has Dragon Dance and Rock Polish. On Barbarical, he has Shell Smash. On, uh, what's his team again? Uh, on his um, Nine Tails, he has Agility. On his Clinkling, he has Shift Gear. On his Altaria has Dragon Dance. This is the only exception, I think. Uh, Victory Bell, he has the Sun with Chlorophyll. Vivian, he has Quaver Dance. Sand Slash Alola, he has Slush Rush. And then Vulpix, I guess Scar. <laughs> uh, okay, so Vulpix and Odno are the two exceptions, but those are not the ones who are deal dealing damage in this. So it doesn't really matter, right? So he has something to bump up his speed. But in order for him to do that, he needs to take a turn out of his day to use those moves. So that's why I'm bringing Sticky Web this week. Because if I bring Quiver Dance, that goes away if I switch out. But I need Sticky Web. And I also brought Thunder Wave. Because if I Thunder Wave and Sticky Web the Tyrantrum, then he, be, he just becomes useless. Because he can do damage, but he will always go second. And in Sticky Web, in Sticky Web, with 4 investment in, in speed, I outspeed everything that's not invested in speed that's base 90 and below. And that's... Oh wait, base 90? Did I count that wrong? No, nah, half of base 90 is 45. Okay, so we, we might need to adjust this a little bit. But I think he's running speed investment in the Kling Clang either way. It's base 90. So I think he's running speed in that either way. So I, I'm not too worried about that. But basically everything, everything that's base 80 and below. With Thunder Wave. Well, Sticky Whip just... Okay, never mind. But you know what? If this outspeeds anything, it kills. And it can take quite a lot of hits with Eevee Light. So Stone Edge, Earthquake, Fire Punch. Listen, Fire Punch is awesome in this. Not Ice Punch. Ice Punch is fine, but I capped it. Ice Punch does a quarter of a percent more than what Stone Edge or Earthquake does to the same Pokemon. So we're not running Ice Punch. We're running Fire Punch. Because if he sets up the sun, Fire Punch one hit KO's Victor Bell. That's awesome. So if he, he ever tries to switch, he can never switch in Victor Bell on this. Never. He can If this gets a kill and Victor Bell comes in, I go right into this. Uh, or I can even sack one of these. It's, it's that simple. It's going to come down to uh, our Psychic MZ kills Victor Bell from full HP. Kills Victor Bell. Psychic MZ kills Victor Bell from full HP. Moonblast. Um, the, th the nice thing is if Ninetales Alola comes in, uh, I outspeed it. I had to be timid to outspeed, so I just went max speed. It, it's probably going to be utility-wise for... Because uh, there's a lot of speed that that's goes that's going up and down in this, in this fight, I can tell. But with Rocks, Rocks and Bullet Punch kill Alola Ninetales. Rocks plus Bullet Punch kills a little Night Tails. So that's beautiful, right? Because it's quite effective, uh, I think. Uh, or if not, this outspeeds 
and we just click Moonblast. Moonblast does, Moonblast does like 34%, I think, min, or something like that. Or we go into this and we just tank everything. Uh, I also put Fire Blast on this. It get boosted in the sun, so I don't get stalled by Clang Clang. Uh, it also hits Victor Bell if he wants to come in. Uh, I thought about Tyrantrum, but I, I'd rather T-Wave Tyrantrum than Fire Blast it. Either way, so I have this for the Outrage. If he if he choice bans himself into Outrage, or choice scarfs himself into Outrage, or Dragon Dance or Rock Polish himself into Outrage. If he clicks Outrage, I have these guys right here, right? So that, that's not a problem. But I, I'm going into this. Uh, I have a lot of defensive investment. Uh, I have Wish. I have max HP Wish to heal up my team. I have Healing Wish for a last resort. If anything goes wrong, uh, I fuck up. I I have, uh, I have spend them on, basically, on what I don't want it to be on. Then I click Healing Wish, and then I get it back, back up. So uh, my Pelipper and my Ribombi are my most expendable mine in this game. Cause Z headbutt, Z headbutt all, Zen headbutt also just does solid amount of damage to uh, Victory Bell. I think with rocks it kills actually, so it's beautiful. I also have Reflect. Reflect is gonna come in so crucial because uh, the thing is, I can I can live an earthquake from a plus one Tyrantrum, and then I can set up the Reflect before I die, right? So Reflect is gonna help me. Help these guys sweep. I also have foreign speed if he wants to try to speed creep this with something. Uh, but it's going to be so fast in rain that yeah, I don't really need speed in it. I'd rather have the uh, investments in special defense to live hits from like nine tails Alola, a little nine tails and stuff. So I can hit rock, rock slide. I can heal up again with drain punch. It's it's really cool. It's really cool. Okay, so my Pelipper, my minus speed on Pelipper. Right, my my Pelipper and his Vulpix speed tie. So what I want to do, you when you have the weather on your side, you always want to be the slowest one, because if you both lead with your weather weather poke, uh, the one who's fastest is not gonna get his weather up. So uh, I set this to minus I uh, zero IVs and minus speed. Uh, if he does the same, we speed tie, and that's fine. Uh, but it's it's just a be secure to always get that rain up. Uh, plus, with my base speed, I'm not gonna outspeed anything crucial anyway. So it's basically most to uh, get the rain in. So once his Vulpix dies, or once his Alolan Ninetales dies, we're in a very good position because we can just switch this in, get the rain up, and this basically sweeps everything. This also sweeps everything. Perfect. This can actually live with quite a couple of grass hits. I think I, I think it lives. Uh, I. I even it to live a solar beam from Meg no from Altaria in the sun. It does not live any grass move from Victory Bell. Not at all. Giga Drain just kills it, so I have to be careful about that. But Fire Punch in return, Fire Punch in the Sun in return kills. So if he has Vulpix and he thinks, damn shit boy, we need to switch out into Victory Bell. Fire Punch is coming in. Crucial! just picking up a crucial crucial KO because if Victory Bell is down if I don't if I lose if Victory Bell is down dude I'm 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 going to be so embarrassed it's it's actually amazing because I have the matchup here the matchup is in my favor I have a steel type for the nine tails of Lolo I have these guys for the for most of his team which uh, with these four coverage moves I hit everything perfectly or for everything for super effective damage I hit everything for super effective damage uh, this hits just the crucial part, has the sticky web support and the U-turn. I can't get poisoned by by stuff or by like, if I, <laughs> I can't live a sludge bomb, that's the funny part. So if he comes in the sun, I need to, I need to be sure, make sure that, make sure that if I want to compete with the, um, if I want to compete with the victory bell, I have to either have uh, I, I have to get rid of the sun uh, and if he's scarfed I think he also outspeeds me I think everything that's base 65 like yeah I think everything that's like if he's like everything that's base eight, oh everything that's base 80 like, we can check it right now we can check it right now because 
it has to be speed investment as well, right? Let's check his. Let's ch let's check this thing. His speed is 262. So if we go 262 times 1.5, which is scarf, we, he hits 393. So he outspeeds me if he's scarf, right? But not in sticky web, not in webs. If he's webs, he's one step behind every time. He's going to be the one who's partial for defogging here. I'm going to force him in a position where he has to either rapid spin or defog. That's his, that's his two options. Because Stealth Rox does chip away, chip away his, his crucial parts, the crucial parts of his team very well, very nicely. And Sticky Webs uh, allows me complete speed control. So I, unless he's bringing uh, really fast Scarfers, like Ninetales and Lolo Scarf, or he gets the sun up, which I have rain. I have rain for his sun. I have sticky webs for his speed uh, for his speed boost, basically. So that's that's basically my team. So if he he if he has the speed control, he dominates my my team. But if I can keep him with his speed under check, then I I'm fairly certain that I I can I can pull him down. I have. Very complex EV spreads for a reason. I like certain moves I I look up. Can I live this? Can I live that? Uh, I think this lives an outrage from a plus one Tyrantrum. Uh, uh, this one has, yeah, that was the, for the some for hidden power grasses and for the solar beam from the Altaria if he brings that or like I can't live an energy ball from Vivian every either way. But it also tanks like. It also tanks stuff like Blizzard and or, or Freeze Dry and stuff like that. So if he thinks he can knock me out with that, you no, know, no. Stone Edge kills 100%. Stone Edge kills 100% if I land it. So this Stone Edge right here, this 80% right here, is gonna be the faith of this battle. I I think a lot. I could go. I could also go like Whirlwind. I thought a Whirlwind Haze for his speed boost, but like. I'd rather just have Roost, to be honest. Like, Pelipper, I mean, if he tries to set up on Pelipper, I, I can just U-turn or switch out. I think that's much more efficient because, yeah, I, I can run Haze like this. I don't know. So the, the lead is very important here. Uh, I'm either going to lead Gumball or I'm going to lead Star Driver here. Uh, uh, so I don't I don't mind rocks being up on my side of the field as I said these two that are weak to rock are my most expendable these two are my most precious and these resist rock either way so having rocks up on my side of the field isn't that isn't that scared of me so I don't mind I don't mind that and the nice thing about this is that his bug type Vivian does not get sticky web his vivian does not get sticky web that's perfect for me it's perfect so i'm prepared for quiver dances shell smashes scarf scarfed bands uh dragon dances rock polishes shift gears i'm i'm prepared for everything i'm prepared for aurora aurora veils i'm prepared for slush rush prepare for solar beams if that comes in I feel like that's I uh, dragon dances. I'm also prepared for this. Uh, I have ice punch the seismic toad, which just you know. So yeah, regenerator on this. I'm not scared of either way. I have fighting. I have I have fighting, not stab, but I have I have fighting moves for it. So I'm I, and I have reflect worst case. So I'm not really and healing wish worst worst case. So I, I feel like I'm really really prepared for this battle. But it all always 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 comes down to how you play it always comes down to how you play. so this is going to be really crucial uh week one match it's important that i set that i make a mark that i try to impress see how that goes yeah so um uh i guess with that uh the team recap is done we can go over like rain expert belt for attacks EV light for attacks sticky web Psychimzy, Psychic, Stealth Rock, Bullet Punch, Zenheb for the Victory Bell, Reflect for the his hard hitters. And then this is my 
last itch effort. My my wish to heal up my team if ever anything goes wrong. Healing wish to heal up anything if any goes wrong. Mm, if he has stealth rocks, then healing wish does not heal the stealth rock damage. Like I come in, I get the healing wish, stealth rock takes it down again, but I'm fine. That's fine. As long as it uh, like 80%, I I think I need to be fine. So with that, uh, I'm hope. I hope you're as excited to watch the battle as I am uh, playing it. Uh, I hope you'll stick around for uh, some future videos. Uh, but with that though, smash that like button if you're hyped for the match. And I'll see you in that video. Bye!